Oh, I have to beat the Reaper first before unlocking this new boss. Hi guys, I'm Night Angel and welcome to another video that will hopefully help you with your own gameplay. Today we're continuing with the Chrono Arc, but on the newest patch, Early Access 1.2. As always, I will give you my thoughts on this patch and what to expect. But before we jump into the ga actual gameplay, let's look at the Early Access notes first. So what's up everyone, we're happy to announce that Chrono Arc has been 1.2 released. Uh, First of all, we want to let you know that we're going to the close beta before EA version update. So they have a, a close beta on the Korean server, the, on the Korean side of things, because these developers don't speak English very well. So that's why they're uh, changing all of the English translations and then uh, making the best gaming experience possible for us. So being added, modified, and removed in the same day for this reason, it's hard to, harder for us to make an official global close beta in English. So let's dig in. Sacred Karela. This is a new boss of Stage 3, the White Graveyard. What I think is that this is the same area as the Grim Reaper, as the Reaper. So you either get her or you get the Reaper. It's not like a stage 3 2 or something. This is what I think it is. I might be wrong, but that's what I think it is. And then there are cursed monsters. Cursed monsters uh, appear during combat, are very strong, but they leave bonus rewards. Also, you can remove their curse if you have a lifting scroll. That is fine. The cursed monsters, whatever, right? Whatever. So, oh. Uh, before we move on, uh, something about uh, Sacred Karela. So when you watch this video, um, you will notice that I got the Green Reaper this time. But it was not by chance that I got the Reaper. It was 100% of the time because you have to complete the whole game again before you can unlock this new boss. So in order to actually uh, uh, experience this new boss, you have to beat the game first, uh, and then you can unlock this. Okay, then there is Lucy's cat outfit. We added Lucy's cat outfit for players who are dedicated, who are dedicating their effort and time into our game. You can purchase the skin from the vending machine at the arc. So uh, just to, it's a spoiler kind of here, that this cat outfit is really expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's really expensive. Identification feature at the store. Now you can identify items at the store with a few gold. This is really helpful because you won't get identification scrolls all the time. Without identification scrolls, you can't identify your potions. You can't identify your other scrolls. And then sometimes you want items to be identified before you equip them. This is a really good way to identify your stuff, your items. This is a really good change uh, that they've added. So to limit the randomness that is with the items. And then you don't have to use your scrolls for random. Because previously, uh, I've just used my scrolls randomly because the scrolls don't really have a negative effect. Then this change um, would mean that my scrolls would actually do something. Because previously, sometimes the scrolls wouldn't really do anything when I use them because it was random. So moving on, a character improvements, uh, Miss Chain removed skill into pieces. That was the AOE skill. New skill, fire ground. I don't know what that is. Playing with fire. These are new skills, so I haven't played around with her, so I don't know what these skills are. All other skills from Miss Chain have changed slightly. We changed Miss Chain's skill set to have a better synergy with the team and to protect them. Okay, so I think she is more of a tank now, maybe, and less damage dealing. Just by the name of these skills, they're not really damaging skills. I think previously, Miss Chain was just too powerful with all of her skills, and she has that healing gauge protection, and she can protect, basically only protect herself and not really others. <laughs> but because she also did a lot of damage, she was a really good character. 
but I think this change would make her more of a tank instead of a DPS. So for Hai, Hai was really weak and even though they buffed his accuracy a bit, his skill set was not really good. So remove skill endure, yeah, I don't really know why that why the skill was was high because endure is kind of opposite of what of what his other skills would do. Uh, new skill blood reflux, new skill merciless explosion. So these are probably more damaging skills that are comboing with uh, his other skills. All other skills for high have changed slightly. Hein was a very simple character, he was strong in general combat and weak against bosses. Now you will find Hein inflicting lots of damage to bosses and swarming more incoming attacks. Yeah, because of this comment right here, weak against bosses. That's why Hein was the weakest uh, hero, weakest character out of all of the characters. He was like so bad before. But I think this change here would make him more viable and more playable. Ironheart removed double armor, new skill innocent armor. I don't I don't think double armor was too bad. It was just kind of an exploit. You need Ironheart and and also you need the healer. I forget her name, but you also need the healer to get more armor, and then you double that armor. It's very rare to get. To get that, you can start off with Ironheart and the healer for that combo to work. But you also need to get this skill, double armor, and also the armor skill, and also the, the attack skill that uses his armor. I forget what the uh, skill name for, names for those. That is uh, what I think. And this innocent armor may be just a weaker version of this double armor. I mean, this change is just to stop an exploit sort of thing, just so that you don't have to cheese the game all the time. Sis. Help Yi now has a more offensive effect. Incise damage from additional attacks has reduced. Additional attacks have re has reduced. Okay, Guard Yi keyword Chain Heal has been added. Healing amount has increased. So if you keep on watching this video, I will be using Sis in my run and I will have Help Eve in size and also Guard Eve. So, guys, so you guys will know exactly what these skills will do and uh, I will just show you guys in game against the Reaper. Basically, Help Eve uh, heals a little bit but it has a buff that increases damage. In size, it's basically the same. It's a, just a little bit nerfed. Guard Eve uh, heals a lot for a lot and also heals multiple characters. Okay, so Joey, passive skill. Now Joey obtains a potion with a random beneficial effect when he levels up. Uh, chemical weapon effect now remains until the end of the stage. Amount of overall party healing has reduced. Effect now remains until the end of the stage. Oh. Wait a minute. Now Joey obtains this potion with a random and beneficial effect when he levels up. Uh, okay, so passive skill is changed so that he can just uh, identify all of the potions for everyone. Just just because you have Joey, you don't need to identify all the potions. I don't think that is fair. This the new passive skill obtains a new potion. Um, beneficial effect, so it's a good thing, uh, but it's really nerfed down. And this amount of overall healing party healing, because he is not really a healer, is more of a offensive support sort of uh, buffing and uh, no debuffing the enemies and providing buffings to your own party, but not really much healing. But I think that is still good. He is the only person that that can weaken the enemies. I don't think that there is another character that can weaken the enemies. Chemical weapon, this, um, I don't know. I don't know why they buff this. Why, why would they buff this? It was used like all the time before. Why would they buff it even more? Anyways, Silverstein, 
base attack power has increased. Hmm. Okay. Modifications and added features. Tracking uh, missed attacks inflict half of the amount to the target. That's a uh, new keyboard tracking. Uh, heal an ally with the lowest health if the skill heals more than the target's healing gauge. So that's what the chain heal is or guard Eve here. If you heal more than the target's healing gauge, you would heal another ally. Expert difficulty only fixed ability cooldown feature. You cannot use a fixed ability for two turns after using it. Oh, so all fi fixed abilities have a two turn cooldown for expert difficulty only. Just to improve the difficulty a bit. Improvements added 22 new items. Uh, I will show you some of those new items in this video. Uh, reduce the difficulty of Golem and the Witch for difficulties easier than normal. Only easier than normal. Uh, added low quality mode for some uh, low spec computers. Added extra visual effects for secret wreath. Uh, what is that? What is the secret wreath? Not sure. Improved user experience? Sure. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Now identification scrolls identify properly for difficulties easier than normal. Okay, and since I haven't played on difficulties easier than normal, I don't know what that means. Adjusted effects for common healing skills? Sure. Fixed 20 plus bugs? I guess there were uh, a, a lot of bugs in this game. Tohotaku from the Steam community for English translation and some fan arts. Alright, so that's it. Uh, they will obviously have a region 4 on their to-do list and then a bunch of these that were shown before for uh, in an earlier update. Yeah, that's it for the, of the new update for Early Access 1.2. And uh, what I think about this is that it's good that they are still continuing to work on this game, and I hope that they continue to do so. I'm not sure if there is a... I know that there is a community around this game, but I just don't know if the numbers will continue to stay up there after the game has been released for a long time. But for me, I will continue to update you guys on any new updates that they release uh, for English. I can't really read Korean, so I can't go for the closed beta. And I didn't back the game on Kickstarter, so I don't have access to the closed beta anyways. But I will update you guys whenever they do release a new update for this game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Alright guys, so uh, currently I'm on the newest patch of uh, Chrono Arc 1.2 and I'm here in, in the white graveyard and uh, I've just cleared everything uh, I will show you what I have my equipment a bit later but I'm here in the white graveyard 1 this I'm not sure if they introduced the white graveyard 2 or not for the new boss but maybe it, uh, the new boss it's, it's like either you get the reaper or the new boss but I hope that I get the new boss in this playthrough. If I get the Reaper, I'll just play the Reaper. Uh, I mean, I'll just fight the Reaper again. Yeah, hopefully I can get the new boss and show you guys the new boss. Um, so as for my equipment on Trisha, I have the heavy bottle of poison. This is a new item. Um, so it's called Endless Magic Parchment and you can enhance it multiple times. Uh, it says infinite amount of times, but uh, you're basically limited by the amount of money that you have since obviously it costs money to enhance equipment and uh, You can pause the video to see exactly what I have But I'll just show you what I have really quickly here a precise assault shield for some max HP and then healing gauge protection and then uh, this firm leaf belt, penetrating tiger ring, firm star ring, shiny berserker's ring, and shiny rapier. 
that's it. And as for the potions, I have a deal eight damage. They introduced a, a some new potions. I feel like they might have uh, removed all of the negative potions that are that were in this game. So all of the potions that you uh, reveal, you unlock. All of the potions, even if you don't identify the potions, they still provide you with something good. This uh, barrier that blocks 12 damage. This energy drink next skill cast will be cast twice. And obviously there's a normal healing potion. Uh, I got a golden apple from one of the hidden rooms. And then this is a new item that I don't think I'm gonna use. Uh, this item gains a random effect based on its tier. I think this item will have more stats when you upgrade it somehow. I, I'm not sure how you would do that. Uh, okay, I'll... Okay, lifting. Okay, let's use the swiftness. Oh wait, I haven't explored everything yet. Okay, I still have one more battle to do. Let's just do this, do this battle really quickly, and and I, I can show you what I, what skills I have. There we go. Uh, I don't have a key for that. Oh no, uh, I can buy a key from here. Oh, and also you can identify any items you want in the store here. So you don't need a identification scroll every time you want to identify something. So that is really good, really uh, nice to have. Another Berserker ring. So something like this, you put your what you want to identify, then you can identify it. Then let's use that. CC resist. None of these guys have any CC. Oh, I have an ID scroll. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go in here and hopefully it's a new boss. Nope. Oh well. Uh, I guess oh well. Um... I think I should do this first. I need Damage is good. Um, I don't want to taunt this. I, I mean, it already has taunt. This thing ignores taunt. Uh, yeah. I put the encroachment on this. Uh, I think I think that should be good. And then the mark can go on this guy. That is fine. And then I can uh, cast. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's do. Cast. Hmm. I 
All right. I want the I want Yi Wang someone other than on someone else here. Should I do guard Eve? Let's do guard Eve. No. Let's do this. Oh. Right. Do this. I missed. Holy fuck, I missed. <laughs> oh, my God. Alright, let's put this here. Okay, put the acid on him. Uh, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'm gonna take it. Take it here. Insights. All right. I first need to do this. That is my like, required. All right. I'll just. Oh my God! Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, get rid of that. Combat roar. Um this then extend the strike uh, then I can pro no it doesn't really matter because This guy is gonna get hit anyways. Uh, all right. Okay. One turn left. Two turns left. Okay. So first. Okay. First, I should draw. Oh. Okay, and then in size, can I put it? 
Okay, I'll actually, okay, I should put it on her first, LP Eve, and then in size. Oh my god. Sacrifice. Let's heal up. I don't have any skills from from Lian here. Now that is a problem. AC counter, sure. Dian, come at me. Uh, I guess I have to use come at me. Okay, dark barrier. Uh, I don't have a way to stop bleeding. God damn it! Alright, this has swiftness, come at me. Five damage. Okay, focus encroachment here. And all right. Can you sacrifice? Alright, combat drawer. I can use this skill. Next, okay. Insights cannot be used here. Okay, continuous draw first. 
get this yin, get the bleed in here. Uh, let's heal up. Oh my god. How to use this? To at least get her out of range. Uh, guard Eve or help Eve. Help. Uh, let's just discard this for the uh to cancel the CC and then and do a guard here for to transfer Eve. Wait. And do guard you. Wait, I should do this actually. And then basic attack on him. Uh oh, I should use I should use this energy drink for twice the damage. First, mm. all right. Let's do this. Okay, nice. Get this soul thruble charge in, and then I can do uh, energy drink. Then the size. Uh, I'll just do this. Okay, there we go. Revenge, a uh, revenger. Uh, this is Leon. If attacked twice, counter attack. 66% of attack power if attacked twice if the wearer casts an ally targeted skill from hand ally targeted skill from hand gives the target ignore taunt oh wow that's nice ignore taunt boss roster has been updated oh I have to beat the reaper first before unlocking this new boss I guess that's what I was missing. I thought it's just automatically updated. Alright, so I hope in the next video I can get this new boss for, to show to you guys. But for now, this is it. The last prepare stage in this current patch. Uh, send me back. So yeah, this was a really long... Uh, really long run for me but for you guys it's gonna be around around 20 minutes around 15 minutes ish so i have changed my kind of my video style a bit just to have a shorter video so, so that you guys don't have to see me through a lot of useless stuff that are in these games just running around or fighting stuff that's just repeated over and over again so I was just basically showing, showing you guys what I can improve on and some of the interesting stuff that was in my gameplay uh, for this. Let's just unlock everything. If you guys are wondering about the cat outfit, uh, you need 200 credits to purchase it at the vending machine here. 200 credits, yeah. That's, uh, you have to play a lot in order to actually get this cat outfit. <laughs> I know uh, there's some YouTubers uh, that have already gotten 
gotten into the cat outfit. I mean, it's Icy Terror. Uh, Icy Terror has already uh, gotten into a uh, cat outfit. I'm not sure, if, but I think he might be a backer or, or one of the developers, but I don't think he's a developer. Anyways, that was that, and now there is a new boss that I just unlocked by beating the run, uh, by beating this game over again. And uh, now there, that, that I can, hopefully I can show you guys the new boss in the next video. So stay tuned for that. So I'll call the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next video where I will show you guys the new boss. Bye for now.